Hey there, welcome to the advantage session. In the previous session, we have learned what is mutation. In this session, we will learn what is a subscription and how we can use it in the GraphQL. Till now, we have used the normal queries for retrieving data from the server. Sometimes, server may want to notify the client when the new data is arrived on the server or some kind of event occur. For this, we need to use the subscription feature of GraphQL. Like a query and mutation, schema also contain the list of subscriptions supported by it. Result of the subscription is an event stream called the response stream, where each event in the event stream is the result of executing the operation for a new event on underlying source stream. Here, client will subscribe to an event. When any mutation will perform, the server will inform to the client. Server will return the data that have been added. It will only give the field that have been specified while subscribing the event. Subscription creates a ton of possibility for creating truly dynamic application. It can highly use in the chat applications, in which we not continuously checking for the new messages arrive or not. We will subscribe to the new message receive event. So, when new message will be received, the server will inform to the client with the new data. GitHub Schema does not have any subscription event. So, for this demo, I am going to use the another example. Here you can see that it includes the subscription along with the query and mutation. Click on the subscription. It has just one event. Click on the subscription. To create a subscription, we need to use the subscription keyword. You can see that event name automatically came in the suggestion. From this, let's obtain the ID, name, and order ID. Click on execute. Here we got the message that your subscription data will appear here after the server publication. I have already created a mutation for adding data. When this order will be added, it will automatically fire the event. Place both windows side by side so we can see how it will generate the response in subscription window. Let me execute this mutation. Here we got the result for the same order that we have created via this mutation. Let's see what we have learned in this session. For subscription, we need to use the subscription keyword. It's just like event. So we can subscribe to it for a certain kind of operation or event. It highly used in the dynamic application. For example, the chat application. Here is an example of a subscription that we have used. As per the code, it will fire the event on mutation of adding order. We can also fire it for update or delete operation too. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.